2016 to 2022 is quite a journey and we've kind of focused on lots of different species but the big exciting news right now is that we are um, putting in an application to Natural England to reintroduce beavers to Ealing um, in, an, in, yeah, in an enclosed be a closed trial so we won't be just setting them free into the Brenton Waving them goodbye down to the Thames. We're going yeah, to actually Ealing High Street off the go. Yeah, yeah, off the Broadway onto the, the central line. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of people have that reaction where they're like, "What?" Like I thought beavers were these like wild landscape creatures and things, but actually, urban beavers exist across Europe and North America, um, Munich, Berlin, Vancouver. But yeah, like I mean, beavers are are only gone from the UK four hundred years which in kind of evolutionary times is, is the blink of an eye, really. And we're just but not used to... it's longer than the do, eh? Yeah. 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 Um, but we're just not used to having them around or what they do. And, you know, there's a lot of hesitation from anything new in the environment um, when it comes to wildlife. But, yeah, we're putting in this, this application. And, and basically it's about, um, I guess, three things. One is seeing how we can um, kind of integrate and, and interact with beavers in an urban setting, because whether we like it or not, beavers are on the way back in Britain and they will emerge in, in cities and towns and we need to understand how to live alongside them. So that's the one big thing is like, actually, let's do this before it becomes a problem. Let's do it so we can see how we can um, interact with beavers. And actually, most urban beaver populations are not very problematic at all. Um, and the second one is um, for kind of what are studying their habitat improvements and biodiversity improvements with them. We've reintroduced harvest mice, which are Britain's smallest rodent already to Ealing. We believe they've been gone for 30 or 40 years, but with the rangers and um, the kind of different management of a green space, we've good habitat for them now. And we were thinking next on the list would be try and re reintroduce water voles. Um, Ealing are, cats will love you. I know, I know. We're putting all the rodents back, right? So we've, we've got some water voles around near us in Arundel. Have you? Arundel, yeah, the, the WWT reserve, right? Yeah, yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. Well, they, they, they did the, the, the population dipped for a while because they think that uh, weasels or, or uh, mink was it? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, Bottom, yeah, but... yeah. So I mean, we thought about doing that, but that's very kind of labour intensive. But actually, if we bring beavers back first, beavers create the perfect wetlands and ecosystems for water voles and a lot of other things. Um, mm. And one of the big threats to water voles is is mink, North American mink that have been released from fur farms and they're yeah. designed to eat muskrats in North America, but they can eat eat water voles here and water voles have no kind of um, defense from them. So putting beavers well, back first. Although they can, they, if they put an extra thick overcoat and their galoshes on, then the minks can't spot them so well. Yeah, suits so of armor. Read, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've read Wind of the Willows, so I know that Ratty is a water vole. Ratty is actually always, a vole, yeah. He always, he always wears his galoshes. Yeah. So that I'll, no one can uh, recognise his footprints. We'll we'll take that into account in our water yeah. vole reintroduction yeah. project for sure. <laughs> but yeah, that's one of the reasons put the put water voles back once beavers have created this new kind of elaborate wetland system. And then the third reason is the kind of human benefits. So um the area that we're we're planning to enclose and have them on for five years and study the effects, um, it kind of is a, a sunken area and downstream of it is a high flood risk area. So actually by putting beavers on there and then damming the systems and creating wetland, they create much more water absorption capacity and they, um, they'll they hold water and the theory is that they will reduce flood risk downstream in kind of flash flood and, and road runoff events. And they'll also improve the water quality coming out of that site. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We wanna see what urban communities, you know, are like and engaging with rewilding mm. and, and kind of um, nature-based uh, solutions and things. So 